Hey guys, this is uh, Chris from Weebly Tricks. Today I'm going to show you how to change the width of your Weebly site. This video tutorial will follow the written step-by-step -step tutorial that's on Weebly Tricks to an extent. Um, and I will post a link to the written step-by-step -step tutorial in the description of this video. But uh, we're going to, I'm going to show you the two most common ways that you can change the width of a website, a Weebly, of a Weebly website, any website really in general. Um, all right, let's get started. All right, so the first thing you want to do, step one, open Weebly's HTML CSS editor. So I'm going to come over to the editor here. And to do that, we're going to click on theme at the top. And then on the bottom left, click on edit HTML forward slash CSS. And that's going to open Weebly's HTML CSS editor. Step two, open the CSS file. So the CSS file for this particular theme, because it's a Weebly 4 theme, the name of this CSS file is main.less. If you're using a generation of three Weebly theme or prior, your CSS file will likely be named main-styles.css. Right. Step three, change the wrapper content width code. Now, <clears throat> For this particular theme we're using, um, I don't believe it's actually using this particular div, um, ID. So we need to actually find out the div um, that is controlling the width of this area right here. Because I can see it's very unlikely that this top area here has a width um, granted to it. But this area right here looks like it does. So I'm going to go ahead and, and inspect this area. And uh, right, so okay, so the top part, so the top div does not have a width. It looks like it just has some padding around it, which is the green area you see. Um, and the main wrap is the main wrap. The main wrap div is the area that most people want to change uh, the width of. For the Weebly site, uh, and it's usually usually contained within the main wrapper div. Is another div, very commonly called, um, given the class container. Uh, it's called it's called a container class, and it's I've seen it on every Weebly theme that I've ever worked on. So, the odds are very good that your Weebly theme is using a class called container to control the width of divs in your theme. All right, so looking, I'm um, highlighting the, contain, the container class div for this particular theme. And I can see here on the right that the container class itself has been given a width of 100%. But if I come up here, I see that the container class within the main wrapper, the main wrap div, which is right above it. So here's the main wrap div. And within that, there is the class container div has been given a maximum width of 1,366 pixels. What that tells me is that whoever designed this theme only wanted, um, or they didn't care about the top part having a specific width. They, I imagine, they wanted it to be 100%. But they wanted the main wrapper area to have a controlled width. And according to this, it's 1,366 pixel, pixels. I'm sorry. All right, so let's find this. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to look for this in the CSS file. And of course, um, according to this, this CSS file does not have it, this particular CSS code, so we're going to add it. So I copied it. I'm going to paste it in there. I'm opening curly bracket, closing curly bracket. And we're going to give it a Max width. We want. Let's just say we want to reduce. Um, oops. Let's do that real quick. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's say we want to reduce this width right here. We don't want. We don't want this area to occupy so much space. So we're going to bring it in a little bit. So we're going to give it a max width because. Uh, 
Mm-hmm. All right, so, so we're going to give it a max width of, let's bring it to 900, bring it down to 960 pixels wide. All right, and you can see, most no, most noticeably, that the main cunt, that the main wrapper, which is right here, this whole white area, just imagine a big white box here, and then the container class div, which is what houses this area right here, has shrunk to a maximum width of 960 pixels. Right, and we're gonna click save. Call this my theme. And that's it. That's how you would change the width of most Weebly sites. Now, let me show you something else. So let's say we went with another theme here. Let's go with um, let's go with Chento shoes. <clears throat> All right, so we've got a different Weebly theme here. I'm going to access the Weebly uh, editor by going to theme at the top, edit HTML forward slash CSS on the bottom left, and I'm going to inspect this theme to determine what div is controlling the width. <clears throat> All right. Okay, so this is probably the most common way Weebly theme, a Weebly theme's width is controlled. Um, Weebly theme, the basic HTML setup is you have your header, your navigation, your main content area, and your footer. And with e within each four of these divs, you have another div, and it's usually called container. Now, like I said before, I haven't uh, seen a Weebly theme in my whole history of working with Weebly themes that didn't have a container that, that uh, didn't control the width of that particular theme. So as you can see here, uh, let me scroll up. So within the header, you have a container. So you see the orange area is the area that is, that doesn't, so well, I should say the blue area is, um, is, is the width, is the 960 pixel width for the, for the header. And then you could find the container class also in navigation as well. You can see, so the blue area is also 960 pixels because the container class is also contained within the, the navigation div. If you come down here to the area where most people want to change uh, the width of the main content area, this particular one is, it has is called content wrap. So, but you can see the container class in here. Now, for this particular theme, unlike the previous theme, which only had um, the width controlled for one specific div, this particular theme has its width is controlled by a container class. And the container class is housed within the many different divs, you know, the header, the navigation, uh, the content area, and the footer. And this particular width has been maxed out at 960 pixels. Now let's expand this. Let's expand the width of this particular theme to 1200 pixels. And as you can see, every single div within this Weebly page, with, I'm sorry, within the HTML file uh, has expanded to 1200 pixels wide because they all contain uh, the container class. So the nav is also expanded to 1200 pixels wide, but you won't notice that because it's been centered. And the same can be said for the header as well, which also houses the container class, and that's also expanded to 1200. But again, you won't see it because it's been centered, and the same can be said for the footer. Slide that down real quick. I think my the scroll on this mouse has stopped working. There we go. So footer wrap, container. Yeah. Oops. No, it's obstructed by the the Weebly uh, banner down there, but that's all right. So what you do? All right. So all right. So we're gonna. So to change that to, to actually make those settings live, what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna go find the container class. And it is right here. So this is a container class. 
And when I was expecting when I was inspecting the element, I pre-adjusted the width to 1200 pixels to get a preview of it. Now I'm going to actually implement these changes in real and uh, so I've changed that 1200 pixels. You noticed that the site has expanded from nine from its original 960 pixels to 1200 pixels wide. Click save. I'm going to name this particular theme my theme. Save that. And you should notice it expand. There it goes. And voila. All right, guys. So that's how you change the width of your Weebly site.